going to talk about how to create and handle routes using a reach router okay so I'll go ahead and go to my app.js and I will create a components directory and let's say I have individual pages that I want to show let's say that I have a home page so for that I have home component then I have a nav bar so I'll put nav I have about page for that we have about component and we also have let's say contact us contact us okay so let's go ahead and define all of these so first I'm gonna start with the home.js so I'll say home uh, import react from react and uh, let's let's make it uh, a functional based component we don't need to make a class based component we don't need to use state over here so const um, home and I'm using the arrow function here and uh, let's just return like this so in arrow function you already know that if you're returning just the one item you can just use these round brackets okay so this is home and I'll just copy this for the rest of them as well and just change this to okay first I need to export this so export default home okay and let's just copy this for all of these so for nav let's change this to nav for about let's change this to about and put about here let's put nav here for contact us let's change this to contact us okay and we just need to import these uh, but before that in order for us to you know handle the routes for these we need to install reach router so if you want to go into the documentation this is basically the documentation of reach router and it's pretty good you can use react router dom also uh, for handling routes uh, but this is better compared to that that's why i'm teaching you with this so i'll say npm install let's say at reach router i think that's what the name is let's check reach router npm yep that's what the name is let's install it okay I'll just pause the video while it installs okay it's been installed now let's see what is the use case of this so we need to bring in a router so we'll go to app.js which is our main component and import router from reach router okay and then I just need to wrap my component with the router okay so I'll get rid of this and I'll say router or with the opening and closing tag okay and then I can just use my home component and then it also asks me to define the path so on what URL my home component will be available it'll be available on slash and where would my about uh, dot gs be available did I export it okay okay yeah so for about you can see it's already importing on top uh, PHP storm is doing that for you so I don't have to do that okay and the path will be slash about let's say I want to access this one slash about and then we have contact us also so let's say I want to access contact us on the URL contact dash us okay now we need to define these links also so that it's a clickable link and user can click on uh, a link which takes them to slash about we can do all of that inside of the nav component 
okay um, so over here I can say uh, I need the link tag so the reach router already provides you with the link tag okay so for this to work you need to use the link tag the normal a tag won't work with the routing okay if I just use a tag like this with HRF it won't work so you need to use the link tag okay so I'll put link over here and instead of HRF you need to use two so where should my link take me to if I use this it should take me to home so if user clicks on home it should take me to home similarly I can create more also for one for about and the other one for contact us also so this will be for about and this will be for contact us contact us while we are doing this we can just start a development server so that we save time so npm run dev the repository for this is available uh, on git so you can check that out I'll leave it in the description box in case if you haven't got it already okay so you've got these three of them I just need to include this in home so that it's available in fact we need to include this uh, on all pages so that the links clickable links are available everywhere so this is home uh, on top of that I will include nav so that I have a clickable links available here we'll include that in the contact uh, contact us also and we will include that into our about us also so include that in about us also okay now if I check refresh sure enough I've got all of these links available of course they don't look great because I haven't done CSS on them but you can see that these are the links available so currently guys I'm not focusing on the CSS you must have observed in in my video series I'm focusing more on the concept building later on we will learn about uh, how to actually build the entire application uh, with CSS and everything with form and everything but for now I think it's important to understand the concepts first once your uh, base is very strong then it will be easy for you to work on complex applications so it's important that we keep our base strong okay great so now uh, if I go ahead and click on home I'm on the same page if I click on about you can see I'm on about now if I click on contact us I think in contact us we haven't changed it okay contact us okay you can see the page refresh is not working because it's a routing it is not done through PHP okay so home about we are in about contact us you know contact us yeah that's how your routing works guys so so simple right so that's all there it is for routing in terms of the basic understanding uh, you have an option to use uh, react router Dom also uh, you can import for that you have to import you know a router uh, browser router you have to import route all of that okay and then there you have to use exact so that the exact patch uh, exact path matches then like you can directly use components over here home and then path there you have to define which component uh, will be for which route so you have to write route and then component and then pass the component which will be accessible on that route okay so like I said uh, reach router is pretty simple so I suggest you use that but you can use the react router Dom also if you don't want to add that extra library okay great uh, okay guys so you can see that this basically is not going to do anything it's not going to render anything uh, say if I uh, you can see that if I just go over here refresh the page and if I get rid of home you can see nothing is rendered right because the reason why the home is being rendered is because you've defined that on this path my hope component will, should be there if I change this to some other path and now if I check nothing will be rendered right so basically these on their own they are not doing anything they are not rendering anything unless user goes onto that path so why the home was being shown is because I said that on the slash path which means on the root path I should have the home component that's why you, you're seeing home over here 
okay and when the user clicks on about then the about is being displayed if he clicks on contact us the contact us being, is being displayed so that's how you create routes guys okay guys uh, i hope you did like the video if you did please give, th give a thumbs up uh, do subscribe to my channel and uh, i will see you in the next video take care guys bye, -bye.